Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you guys have heard of base travel. Okay, I'm not sure if it's base or like base, base, base or base. I'm not sure. I've like heard Shay Mitchell say it and I still don't know how to say it. It is Shay Mitchell's travel luggage brand and it has been getting super hyped up recently. So I decided for my birthday that I needed a new travel duffel bag type of thing. I figured now would be a great time to do a review on this product, even though we can't really like travel right now. The holidays are coming up and maybe you can ask for this for Christmas or give it to someone else for Christmas. So we are going to be talking about the base Weekender bag. So this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like you can see it's like pretty huge, but that's okay because you can fit more stuff in it, you know. They also do make a mini one and a convertible one. They make so many different styles of this bag. I just got the classic Weekender. So I'm gonna be doing a little review telling you guys if this is worth the money. I actually was able to use it this weekend. I went on a weekend trip. Both of my sisters actually don't live in town, so I'm someone that takes a ton of weekend trips to go visit them and this would be the perfect bag for me. Right off the bat, I obviously think it is so cute. It's just plain and neutral. It also comes in black. And I think olive green might be seasonal. It has pink right now. That might be seasonal as well. Or maybe it's just new. I'm really not even sure. But it has these nice leather, I'm not sure if they're real, straps. So you can carry it around like this, obviously. Or it comes with a long strap, which is what I use it for. Something that does bother me about this though is that the long strap always gets stuck underneath here and then you kind of have to like like get it out. But I did make the strap a little bit longer than when it first came and I don't think I can go any longer because then it will just be hitting my kneecaps probably. Ignore my sweatpants. So this is where it hits me right now. So this is what it looks like in comparison to my body. I'm 5'4", if you were wondering. So anyways, I really wanted this bag just because it is so well thought out. I'm sure Shay Mitchell travels literally all the time. So she knows what you need in a travel bag. Right in the front here, there is just a zipper compartment, which would be so convenient for a passport or your phone or anything that you just need to grab quickly. And then on the back, there's also another one, but this one doesn't zipper at the top. It actually zippers at the bottom. So you can put this on your luggage and put the suitcase handle through here and you know, roll it around. Next thing is this compartment. This is what really kind of sold me on the bag, I'm not even gonna lie to you. So on the regular Weekender, this does not detach, but on the convertible, it does detach. So you'll be able to take this whole thing right off. And then you can use this as just like a regular duffel. Whenever packing for a weekend trip, if I ever wanna bring different pairs of shoes, that pretty much always just takes up my whole entire suitcase. So I thought having a designated add-on area for your shoes would just make life so much easier and you can actually fit i think like four pairs of shoes i just keep these flip-flops in here all the time so that if i ever need like shower shoes i will always have them and i've actually heard some people saying that they're keeping the cardboard in there this cardboard because when you take it out then the bag actually collapses like on this leather part like see how it's this isn't sturdy so i'll probably be keeping that in there forever. Okay, let's see how many shoes we can fit in there. Okay, so I have the flip-flops in there. Those pretty much don't even count as shoes because they take up like no room at all. Then let's see, we could fit some Vans in there. Oh, look at how much room we still have. These are very structured booties though, so they're not really easy to pack. But there's also even probably room on top of those booties to put like a pair of sneakers this way. You definitely could do that. So I'm thinking you could fit maybe four, five pairs of shoes, depending on if they're boots and stuff. My feet are a size seven and a half, if you wanted to know. So here's the inside. 
I love that it's made of this material so that if anything does spill in your bag, it's not going to get ruined. And this compartment is lined with that material as well. So you can even put like a wet bathing suit down there if you want and it won't wet the rest of your stuff. If you didn't notice, this opens fully. It is wired around the top here. Look at how much room is in there. It's insane. She literally thought of everything while making this bag. I do love that there is a laptop compartment back here for any electronics that you have that you wanna keep safe and it's padded. On this side, it's just the basic zipper compartment and two other little small compartments. You could put valuables in here. I put like my toothbrush and stuff in there. Another thing that I love about this bag is it has one of these in there. So if you do have your keys or wallet or anything that has a little key loop, you can hook it on. So you can easily just pull that right out. The hardware on this is so beautiful as well. It just feels really nice and the zippers are amazing. It doesn't feel cheap at all because this is $98. I would 100% recommend this bag to anyone who is in the market for a new weekend duffel bag. This bag can also be used as a carry-on. It is regulation carry-on size. Although I haven't been on any planes recently, I did hear that it doesn't fit under the seat, so you do have to keep it in the overhead compartment. Like I said earlier in the video, I think this would be an amazing Christmas gift to either ask for or to give someone. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video.